installing a bumper on our 2022 Duramax. You're going to have to take off these little side side covers that go right here. It looked like this. It's going to be like that. And what you're going to do is you're going to take off this little trim that's right here. You see these little clips? You just go back there and push on the little ears and they'll pop out. And there's going to be one bolt that's right there they need to take off. It's 930 seconds. You're going to pull that out and then you're going to have to pull hard on this. It's going to feel like you're going to break it. But it'll come out. Yeah, I thought I was going to break it a couple times. But it'll come out. I didn't break anything. And you're going to have to do the same thing to this side. All right, I'll get back with you all right now. You're going to have to take off these three bolts. They're T15. And there's one more, like, right up here. Then after you get that off, there's going to be that 930 seconds bolt right here. And after you get that, then you're going to be able to pull off this big piece of plastic that's right here that's just held on by clips. Once you remove those three bolts, you'll be able to pull down this little this little felt liner. And then let me see if I can get that for you. You see those tabs right there? You're going to want to push in on those and push them out. And this plastic piece on the outside will pop off. After you release them, you don't want to break them. And the reason that you're removing those little clips is so that you could get to that little 930 seconds bolt right there. And once you're able to take that off, there's just a little clip right there as well. And then there's going to be a clip here, here, here. And down here, there's going to be a couple of push pins. But those will come out real easy. These are the ones that are going to give you a little bit of difficulty. Once you remove that, that side panel right there, then you're going to go ahead and want to remove these little push pins that are here. One, one there, one there, there, and so forth. It'll help if you have a little tool like this, a little pry tool. It really helps to get them out. And it can help if you get it in there. And you just go ahead and pop them up. Pop them up the rest of the way. And you're going to go ahead and do that for all of the what other I ones. to mention is before that you remove this plastic piece right here, once you get rid of all those uh, push pins, you'll be able to pull it up. But this right here is going to be blocking it. So you're going to have to take off these little two T15s. They're not tight at all. You just whip those right off. And then you'll be able to pull up that plastic piece. Once you remove that little handle right there, you can go ahead and pull off this plastic piece. It'll pop right off. Just go ahead and set that aside. You're not going to need that for now. After you're done removing that little plastic piece that goes on top, you're going to take off these four 10 mil bolts. One there, one there, one there, and one there. After you remove that, then you're gonna have to pull off the grill. It's just held in with push pins. You remove those four bolts, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna grab here and grab down here. You're gonna wanna pull firmly on both sides. It helps if you have two people. One person can hold this side and the other, other person can hold this side so that it doesn't fall and scratch your grill or anything. But well, let me put y'all down. I'm gonna try to get that off by myself right now. I'll get back with y'all when I get it off. You're removing the grill, I forgot to mention, but there's also a bolt right there that you have to remove on both sides. Right there, you have to remove that bolt in order to pull off the grill. The grill was relatively easy to pull off. And the whole reason you have to take all of this apart is, is so that you could get to that bolt right there. And there is one more bolt down there. You have to get those two bolts off and then you'll be able to pull off the front Underneath bumper. Underneath the truck, if you're looking from the front, you're gonna have two bolts that go to the bumper. On this side, reverse on that side. You're also gonna have to remove those two. And then if you have a diesel, you're going to have to remove the glow plug heater Take over that there. That block heater that's down here on the side of the bumper. You're just going to come up and right here, there's going to be a little push pin. You're just going to push that in and pull this out. It'll come out real easy. And then after that, you can finally get down to these two bolts over here. Reverse on the other side to take off the front bumper. All right, once you remove the bumper, then you're going to go ahead and take off these four bolts that are holding on the brackets to the frame. Once you get those off, you're going to put on the, bolt, the brackets that come with the bumper. And a supplied hardware. You're also going to have to remove these two 930 seconds bolts and also these two 18 mil bolts to take off the factory tow hooks and reverse it for the other side. 